Hello, can you see us? <laughs> Coming from are. the jungle. <laughs> We've come out of the jungle for Seattle Sips, where you can check out some amazing drinks in your area. <laughs> yes, and today we are joined by Scott Bianchi and Joe Huang with the Botanic Ale. Welcome. Hi. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Thanks for coming in. This is so cool. I know you opened less than a year ago, right? Yes. Last May in Fremont. Perfect. Tell us kind of all about the vibe, the ambiance of the whole place. So the vibe and ambiance is, it's a little bit of a speakeasy and a secret garden. Oh. I didn't really want it to look like a commercial like plant shop. Um, so I really want it to be like a jungle, living room, secret garden, speakeasy vibe, if that even makes sense. Yes. Do you have to have a password? <laughs> when you say speakeasy, do you have to have a password to get in? How does this work? <laughs> Just whisper, I love plants. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Or I love beer or wine or Whatever cider. you want. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Or bring a dog. That's a free pass in. <laughs> so I know that you're minority and disability owned, and you, you are run with the goal of uplifting the best small brewers in the Pacific Northwest. So talk to me about what inspired this idea to, to bring drinks and plants together. Two things I already love, by the way. Perfect. <laughs> um, so I started a plant house plant business during the pandemic, and it was out of our little condo. Mm -hmm. And Aww. very quickly I realized that it's after the 16th time Scott trips <laughs> like over a plant <laughs> or a pot. <laughs> like that's just not the best space for it. So we really started looking at spaces, and I found a way to combine our passions. Scott's always been into craft brewing. Um, he had a commercial fridge in his condo. <laughs> and um, it was my way of bridging because Scott was diagnosed 10 years ago with a very aggressive bone cancer. Mm. And so it was like, okay, he can't do what a tradition, like he can't do brewing because it's so much heavy lifting, it's so physical. So right. how can I create, you know, problem solving mind? How can I create a solution through our business, not only what we can do for our passions, but also uplifting small scale, small scale beverage makers in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, Beautiful. I've heard that you partner with a, a bunch of different types of beverage makers, as you mentioned too. So like breweries, cideries, wineries, everything. Eries. So yes. you sell, sell meaties, alcohol, <laughs> ginger beer. Uh, kind of yes. tell us all about that, and and so what are some of the most popular drinks you have? Ooh, Scott will take this one. So, so we do about 15 rotating breweries, and a requirement for us to sell any of the beverages is that we need to know the owner, head brewer, head winemaker, head beverage maker, mm -hmm. um, at all the different places that we sell. Um, so originally it was just breweries, but then quickly we realized that people loved all sorts of beverages, and it's a really great experiment for us to learn more about wine and mead. Um, so we do beer, cider, alcoholic ginger beer, seltzer, mead, sparkling wine, now bottled wine. Mm -hmm. um, and why was it important for you to know the brewers? I think our goal is to connect our guests with what they're drinking mm -hmm. um, and make that connection, not just, I'll take the IPA, sit in the corner on my phone. Wow. Yeah. Um, so you get to learn about the people and the places behind what you're drinking and really make that connection. Wonderful. So we are trying a few of these beverages yep. today. What are we looking at here? All right. So the first one up is um, called a Poubelle, Poo and it is a brand new Bell. type of drink. Um, okay, so okay. Barman Cellars opened like last month and they're up two hours north at the foot of Mount Baker and they do wine, cider, and poubelle and it's their creation and oh. it's like a piquette which is like a light sparkling wine oh. but they put fruit in it so it's like light sparkling wine meets cider but it's very dry, really refreshing to Ooh, drink. Oh, I love a dry really drink. Yeah, let's try see. This. I've never heard poubelle you said, yeah. is that right? It means okay. trash can in French. <laughs> oh! I've died. Uh, <laughs> because because there's so many things better. in it. <laughs> it's wow. So a piquette, um, which is a type of wine, um, is Cheers. when they use the grapes. Cheers. <laughs> um, a piquette is when they reuse the grapes from making a full body wine mm -hmm. um, into, because there's still a lot of residual sugar and flavor left on the grape skins. Mm -hmm. So they took that idea and added fruit. So this one has three types of grapes and pear. I like mm. it. It's so easy to drink. And it's I not overly it. sweet despite having all those yummy fruits in it. Right. Yep. Yeah, this I like is that good. dry flavor. All right, what's, what's next? next? All right, so next we, oh, we have a beer from a newer brewery down in Oregon called Kings and Daughters. The head brewer, Kyle, is a phenomenal brewer and master of hop use. So this one is a soft IPA, which I'm pretty sure he came up with the 
um, the name of a soft IPA. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a little bit lower in ABV, but still like full flavor. Oh, and okay. the way he uses his hops are just phenomenal. Oh wow. And his wife does all the can mm. art. It does feel like a lighter IPA, because normally IPAs are a little bit too heavy for yeah. me, but this is good. No, this is great. This yeah. is nice. Yeah. What's the next one? All right. And the last one we're gonna try today is from Timber City, which is down in South Seattle. Um, Kyle and Cara, they make ginger beer. Oh, ginger uh, beer, yeah. Cool. And so okay. this one is pear jasmine. I oh. love this packaging too. Will, will you spin that around for the camera it's, too? It gives like, it's like a 90s mountain. amazing vibe. Yeah. I love it. Look at that. That's so cute. Oh. And while you pour, I have to tell you, it's so exciting to me to see the variety that you offer because my husband loves mead, but he used to have to go to Renaissance Fair. Oh, <laughs> yes. 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 yes! And that's actually the only thing we yes. didn't bring is that's I was okay. looking no, through what we were okay. supposed to bring. I, I we'll come appreciate you. it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right around. We're down the street. And you, and you all sell house plants as well. So not only can you marvel at them while you're sipping your delicious drink, but you can buy the plants too, right? Mm. And some people so walk cool. around the so shop and like, good. can I? Mm -hmm. Like walk and shop. Yes. Oh, so you can so buy the plant. Yes. This is my favorite one. Oh. Yeah, it is. It's so tasty. Good on you, Joe. Thank mm. you so much for coming in Thanks today. So much. Thanks so if much. You, yeah, if you want to check out the Botanical Ale, the Botanical Ale yes. in Fremont, we'll have a link with more info on our website, fox13seattle.com/studio13. Thanks Live. again. This